What kind of a king, with all his power and authority, would allow himself to be mocked at and arrested? What king would not allow the supports of arms and armies? This kind can be found in the life of Jesus, who has nothing to do with worldly kingship and kingdom. His kingdom is totally different from the world's kingdoms. In the words of Jesus, my kingdom is not of this world. Today, we go to Jesus, our king, before Pilate. Pilate and the Jews plot to kill Jesus. Pilate is asking, are you a king? Jesus says, you say that I am a king. This is why I was born, to be a witness to the truth. And everyone who believes in me will follow the truth. To be a witness to the truth is the star and substance of the kingship of Jesus. Before now, Jesus has told the disciples that he is the way, the truth, and the life. Today, he could boldly say before Pilate that he has come to be a witness to the truth. If Pilate were just and truthful, he would have let Jesus go free. For he himself admitted, I cannot find any reason to condemn him. John 18 Verse 38. If Pilate would see a proof of worldly kingdom that is built on power, fraud, falsehood, force, ambition, and greed, the kings of this world want to be served. They have so many servants, such as king's guys, queen's maids, and so on. But Jesus says, Though I am your master, I am among you as one who serves. John 13, 13 to 14. This is truly king by service. No one loves more than the one who lays down his life for his sheep. My dear friends, Jesus has the option to be the king of gold, silver, and diamond. He has the option to be the king of wealth, power, and possessions. But he chooses to be the servant shepherd king. He chooses to be the king of the cross. In other words, the king of love, of sacrifice, and king of peace. In the first reading, Daniel tells us the eternal reign of the peace of Jesus Christ. While the second reading tells us that Jesus is the firstborn of all creation, the Alpha and the Omega. He is the eternal King. My dear brothers and sisters, we are called today to see Christ the King in everyone, no matter the level we have attained in life. We must consider other people. Today, it is not enough to follow in the procession for a long or short distance, and then seeing Jesus is passing this way without allowing him to reign over us. Jesus wants us to learn to be servers. If only we want to rule with him, we cannot overlook the cross, which is love as the emblem of his kingship. He rules by love and for love. This is because he is a king of mercy. We must learn how to show mercy and compassion. We must learn how to forgive and work for peace. Today is also an invitation to those who have power or authority over people in this society. Learn to use your power or authority to be a witness to Christ. Let us not forget also that every one of us who is baptized has been given the kingly power and authority by the virtue of our baptism. And we are told in the book of Psalm that a king is not saved by a powerful army. None is a warrior rescued by his great strength. 
and the Lord's eyes are upon those who fear Him. In short, those who depend on Him and learn from Him. The Lord is King with majesty and rule. Lord, give us the grace to be conscious of our baptismal dignity as kings and live up to his responsibilities. Amen. Happy Sunday to you all.